disturbing technological advancements by 2030. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, people have had a healthy amount of trepidation over the development of new technologies. We're afraid of trains and cars, but it always took just one or two generations to get completely used to these innovations. It's true that most technologies caused harm in some ways, but the net outcome was usually good. This may be true for future technologies as well, although there are serious ethical and philosophical reasons to fear some of them. Some of them shouldn't really scare us, while others should, and some of them are already shaping our world in 2030. The world in 2030 will be very different from the world we live in today. Cryonics and everything else in this video may seem very science fiction-like, but the reality is that cryonics already exists. There are companies that will freeze you as soon as you pass away so that you can be brought back to life when technology and medicine are advanced enough. Developed to the point where you can purchase immortality right now if you so choose. You can get a discount if you go on the link in my bio and enter the code Refined Tech Zone. I'm joking, but here is a list of some famous people who have frozen to death. James Bedford a man named Ted Williams Dickhead, John Henry Williams Claire Jones FM 2030, as well as those people who are still living but would choose to remain frozen it was Seth MacFarlane. The known Simon Cowell. The socialite Paris Hilton and the pop superstar Britney Spears. It is unknown when or if these people will be taken out of cryogenic storage. The technology to freeze people is not yet perfect, and there may be permanent damage that can never be fixed, but it is getting better every year. On the other hand, the technology to unfreeze people does not yet exist, however, it is getting better every year. People who have chosen to freeze themselves carry a social stigma in today's society, and the concept of freezing our dead bodies seems very Frankensteinian to most people. People who choose to freeze themselves are frequently viewed as weak and cowardly since they are refusing to accept their destinies. What are your thoughts on the practice of cryonics? Nanites are nanorobots that will one day surround us everywhere. They would be too small to be seen unless they were in swarms, but they would be everywhere, in the air, in the water, on the surfaces, in our food, in our bodies, in our urine, and feces. They would have swarm intelligence, no centralized control, and the ability to replicate and adapt. They could be used to clean the environment, 3D print anything, and cure most illnesses. Explore different planetary systems. If you could manipulate the weather and perform a variety of other science fiction feats, would you trust millions of small and intelligent robots to live within your body? It is one thing to hack a bank account, but it is another thing to hack the air, ocean, buildings, and human bodies. All it would take is one smart, motivated, and angry person to destroy the world. On the other hand, security grows together with hacking techniques, and a technology as advanced as nanites is expected to be safe and secure. Sadly, this is not enough to guarantee that nanites won't kill us all. AGI, or artificial general intelligence, is the final innovation that will ever be required of mankind. An AGI is a form of artificial intelligence that, similar to humans, is capable of learning anything, as opposed to existing AIS systems, which are limited to learning only one specific task. When an artificial general intelligence, AGI, is built, it will continue to improve itself by becoming more intelligent. At some point, it will become an artificial superintelligence, ASI, a being so intelligent that we would be like ants to it. At this point, two things can happen, either the ASI will build a utopia for us or it will drive us toward extinction, there is no in-between. There is a lot of confusion about this. Some people believe that an artificial general intelligence, AGI, can never be created because there is something about the human mind that can't be replicated. Other people believe that an AGI would develop a sense of self-consciousness and become tired of having to cater to humans, which would lead to it becoming hostile toward humans. In recent months, the science news has been filled with headlines about CRISPR, a technique that allows researchers to edit DNA with an unparalleled ease and accuracy. Proponents of CRISPR claim that the technology would revolutionize the field of genetic research. CRISPR is a genetic tool that is currently being used to eliminate malaria from mosquitoes, treat muscular dystrophy, and improve food. Eventually, 
CRISPR has the potential to rewrite medical science at a fundamental level by eliminating genetically transmitted diseases, creating highly targeted drugs, and more. However, the very features that make CRISPR so attractive to medical researchers could also be used by medically unethical people. Experts describe a horrifying scenario in which terrorists infect the water supply with a virus generated with CRISPR technology. In this scenario, the terrorists have a restricted budget but are nonetheless savvy enough to infect the water system. Fake videos of a very high quality can put an end to careers in politics and business. Deep fakes are very complex video forgeries in which artificial intelligence technologies may be used to substitute people's faces in a film. For the most part, deep fakes are malicious and are frequently used to fabricate videos such as revenge porn. The technology, which is presently available for free and is simple to operate, is only going to get better, and within a few years, you won't be able to tell what's real and what's false, which means that disinformation campaigns that make use of deep fakes have the potential to destroy the careers of politicians, have a negative impact on voter turnout during elections, and spark crises in the private sector. By the time the fake video is released and spreads through media outlets, the stock price of a publicly traded company can drop by several percent. Deep fakes provide a significant existential risk to society as a whole, it is not just a risk to politicians and other public people who are the focus of cyber criminals' attention in this context. It's possible that the whole system might be compromised. Automobiles that can drive themselves. Despite the crash involving self-driving cars that have hit the headlines these years, this area of AI could significantly reduce deaths and injuries on our roads, according to a report published by Stanford University. Self-aware artificial general intelligence is a sentient AI that has the capacity to understand the world in much the same way that humans do. Science fiction is often fueled by computers and robots with self-aware artificial general intelligence. Not only will self-driving cars reduce the number of deaths and injuries caused by traffic accidents, but they could also bring about changes in our lifestyles as well. We will have more time for ourselves, but self-driving cars are not without concern as they can be hacked, causing kidnappings, injuries, and deaths. Replacing limbs with a prosthesis by choice modern prosthetics would be barely recognizable to doctors from just a generation ago thanks to computers that are integrated via a prototype prosthesis even enables patients to feel natural sensations from the device, which enables them to walk while blindfolded. This is an unprecedented advancement in artificial limbs. With the growing sophistication of prosthetics, people may decide to have elective surgery to replace fully functioning body parts in order to augment their bodies to take advantage of the technology. Prostheses will continue to become stronger, more durable, reliable, and dexterous. Bound upload to take the last statement and push it to its logical conclusion, you don't just immerse yourself in a different reality, you pack your bags and go there and bind upload. There's a new series on Amazon called Upload, and we think you should give it a shot because it's pretty good. In the world of Upload, people have the option to choose to upload their minds into a virtual afterlife rather than physically passing away. This may one day become a reality. Your body and your brain may perish, but the information contained in your mind can be exported and stored on a digital device. Your mind will be a file that is stored on a hard disk, a USB stick, or in the cloud. After that, you will be able to keep living through a computer program that transfers the structure of that file in a manner that is comparable to the manner in which electrical stimulation transformed the structure of your brain. Thanks for watching this video, the technology that will be developed in 2030 is remarkable to say the least. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos about new innovations.